over the last few years, they've all been members of the Congress party. And uh, now they're in different uh, political functions. And we'll talk a bit about that. It also happens to be Pradyut's birthday. So can we just uh, wish him a happy birthday as we start this session? So Pradyut, happy birthday. Pradyut, Imo makes an argument in the context of Manipur to say, even if 2017 was an anti-Congress vote, 2022 was a vote in favor of the BJP on account of its performance, which is why we won. Therefore, performance matters more than polarization. Where do you come out on this? No, I, I think, uh, to be very honest, I, uh, we cannot pick and choose what Emo says or what Sushmita says, but I'm a keen student of politics and the history of politics should always be looked into. The BJP approached the 2004 election with performance, India shining. They lost. They approached the 2019 election by saying, ghar ke andar ja ke mara, and they won the election. So obviously, at some point, they've also had a cause correction that only performance does not matter because the Indian voter is also very emotional. When we come and talk about the Northeast, the Northeast, you have to understand, unlike uh, other states in India, the Northeast is surrounded by China on one side, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Bhutan, and there is a sense of insecurity amongst the local population, which is largely the indigenous population, that they will be flooded with people from outside. So when a government of India comes out with certain bills, which says that we will protect you, or we will protect your interest, they are also playing to a polarization card. Uh, if you see what happened in parts of Northeast when there was uh, the burning of a temple in uh, Bangladesh, the reaction immediately in the Northeast was reaction towards burning or vandalizing of mosques. So these are not mutually exclusive. And this sort of geographical identity to Northeast is a perfect playing ground for polarization. However, I do believe that if the Northeast has to develop, we have to look at economic prosperity, we have to look at connectivity, and much like uh, the BJP's former ideologue Vajpayee Ji said, you cannot choose your neighbors, we have to live with our neighbors, but by constitutionally protecting our rights. And if the BJP really wants to protect the people, then they should constitutionally bring in amendments to protect the people, rather than playing into the threat perception that across the border there are many people and they will come in Emo Singh, let's get. You want to respond to that before I ask? It's 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 it's, it's very uh, commendable that they've uh, they've looked into the aspiration of the people of Manipur, but inner line permit uh, is not been implemented in states which actually have boundary with Bangladesh. Uh, uh, Assam has boundary with Bangladesh. You have not uh, implemented inner line permit. Tripura has uh, boundaries with Bangladesh. You haven't done it. Meghalaya has it. But you have done it in states where there is actually no international boundary with Bangladesh. And uh, the fact is, you can't pick and choose states. If you want to bring in a law, bring it in totality. Don't pick and choose in states where your vote bank gets affected. And the fact is that, unfortunately, you know, I do not hold brief uh, against BJP or for the Congress party. But unfortunately, like what Emo has said, all political parties have played politics with Northeast largely because they, you're not mentally connected and your heart is not connected with the Northeast because you're too far away. No, but can I counter that to... In 2014 and now what it is? In Raja, there's a big election uh, coming up in Tripura where the BJP has changed its chief minister. You've now moved out from the Congress, set up your own party. How do you see this change impacting the anti-incumbency which seem to be building up against the BJP? And in this third formation that you've set up, are you more aligned towards Narendra Modi or Rahul Gandhi? See, uh, right now I'm aligned to you, Rahul. <laughs> but uh, let me, uh, you know, that question that you'd asked, Imo, is very important. And I just wanted to say, yes, there has been development. I will not say that it's just PR. Uran scheme has been very successful. And I appreciate where the government has done work. But like Sushmita has said, that we need to first protect our existence. We need to protect our identity and our culture. That's why the Honorable BJP MLA is talking about inner line permit and the BJP MLA in Tripura is not talking about inner line permit. So there is a duality in the conversation. Coming back to your question regarding Tripura, they have changed the Chief Minister. 
Uh, I wish the new Chief Minister all the very best, Mr. Dr. Manik Shah. I haven't met him till now. When we do meet, I will uh, extend my greetings to him. But the fact is that my politics is not dependent on what BJP is doing or what Congress is doing. We are here to actually bring in a certain constitutional solution to our demand of greater Tipra land. And under no circumstances will Pradyot Manikya or any of his team members compromise on that basic God demand of greater Tipra land. If they give it to us in writing, we will think about an alliance. If they do not think about it, uh, giving it in, uh, in writing, then chunao mein dekha jayega kaun jeetta hai, kaun harta hai. So, if I were to interpret what you said from the outside, can I decode to say that all options are open? No, you can, uh, you can say that all options are closed until they do not give it to us. Any of the parties in writing, all options are closed because I don't look at them and play my game. We look at our own strengths and come on the ground. If they want to come and align with us, they'll have to give it to us in writing. We do not want to lose our credibility in front of our people because we have promised them something and we've been elected and voted for that very promise. So even this idea and let's go. No, no. Uh, see, uh, we from the Northeast, we have a lot of skill. You know, uh, I'm a football player, uh, musician. You want me to pick a football? Uh, if you had got the football, I mean, I would probably outdo the Trinamool here at least in football. But uh, the fact being that uh, we in the Northeast, we have a very different way of uh, outlook to our life. You will see uh, tomorrow uh, Himanthu Bishwa Sarma coming, Conrad Sangma coming. Conrad is a great guitarist. I I'm a musician. I sing. So we have different level of talent. But before I do something, you know, when I got into politics, I was the original uh, youth congress brigade when I was in congress. Mein tha. So we were very serious. And one day my mother called me up and said, Beta, you know, nine months I've kept you in your stomach, in my stomach. And why are you so serious? People will vote for you, not because you are always serious or intelligent. Logo ko hasao, logo ko, you know, be approachable, be, you have a good smile, so be nice to people, be humble to people. So in India, two things really work, sports and Bollywood. So uh, you told me to mimic uh, Rahul Gandhi, I will not, he's a friend. Modi ji, I'm scared of him. One <laughs> problem ho jayega, but uh, Amitabh Bachchan, we can do, uh, if that is all right. Let's start. We'll get to Modi and Rahul Gandhi, but let's start with uh, Amitabh Bachchan. Look, you talk about development. But before development, we should talk about our cultural identity. So Amitabh Bachchan was like that. Dharmendra would go like... He's saying he doesn't have to clap, so he's feeling motivated and encouraged. Okay? Otherwise, he'll lose the plot and he'll never get to Modi ji and Rahul Gandhi. Yes. No, Modi ji, I'm scared. Modi ji, I'm scared. Because again, you know, after this, he'll say, Aaj, raat, aat, bajay ke baat. Rahul or Pradyot, you will not be in this world. So, we will be done. I don't want to uh, scare him. Are we a 2,000 rupee note in this world? We will also find satellites. We will also find the microchip in 2,000 rupees. We will also find it. And then we will not be alive. I don't want to go into uh, Modi ji. But yes, you know, so, uh, in, uh, I've always said this in my, and I've bring, taken a political angle to it. So, you see, uh, in my speeches, I've always said, Shatrugan Sena, 40 years ago, said, I am the Bihar of Bihar, the Bihar of Bihar. Amitabh Bachchan says, I will leave the Ganga Kinari. He talks about Allahabad all the time, right? Dharmendra, Dharmendra always says, I am the Jat Yamla Pagla Divana. He talks about his Jat roots. So, when all these people can talk about their roots, why can't I say that I am proud to be a Tiprasa? So, in this political mimicry, there is also an identity. When Manmohan Singh writes a letter to the France, French Prime Minister saying that the turban should be protected, he is talking about his community as well, the Sikh community. So, when I speak using this mimicry and I tell my people that these people, these famous stars, Prime Ministers, actors have spoken about the community, then, and they are not called communal, then why can't I say I am proud to be a Tiprasa? There is nothing wrong in speaking out for your people, you have sent your message through mimicry, through jokes, but yet the message which has gone through is extremely important. Be proud of who you are. And that's why I come back again in the end and I tell what Shushmita said, more than development, of course development is important, but your identity is paramount. If you do not have your roots to the ground, where is your development going to be? Mr. Emo Singh is a proud friend of mine, he's a proud Maitai and I love him because when I go to his house, I get the Iromba and the Sinju. 
I don't want to go to his house and have a butter chicken. That I can do it in Ludhiana. It is important to preserve his culture. It's the same way, you know, Maj Bhat in Sushmita's place, it's Bhangui in my place. North East is about different culture, different tribes, different facets. We have to protect that. We cannot become a melting point of one viewpoint. And that is what we are all scared about. Can we have a round of applause for the birthday boy, please? That was...